Hello everyone and welcome to another short video with me. My name is Kimmy and today we're going to be working in Illustrator and the Blend Tool. This video will be short, sweet, and it'll tell you everything you need to know to use the tool. Um, but other than that, I'm not going to go into details about when you should use it. Just have fun with it. So let's get started. First, you'll see on my screen that I have uh, four different shapes. I'm going to start with the top one. So when you want to use the blend tool, you're going to want to select the items that you want to blend together. Then you're going to go and press this icon here or W. Now you'll see this small little square with dots. This means that you're in your dot tool, your blend tool. Sorry. So how this works is you're going to click on the item, the first one. Then you're going to click on the second item and that's what it's going to create. Now this is one full piece. It's not separated. So you like, you can always change it, but this is one of the ways you can do it. If you want to change the steps that it takes. So let's do control Z to go back like that. So let's say you want, you want a little bit more space or less space in your circles. If you double click, on the blend tool, the blend options will pop up. And let's say I want 25 specified steps between the first color and the second color. I'm going to change it to that. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to click on the first one again, click on a second one again, and there you have it. As you can see now, my gradient is a lot thicker. Like you can see it a lot better. There's still lines and the circles are still there. If you do object and expand exper uh, expand appearance like this, okay, now you have all of your circles individually, which is pretty cool. So let's say you want a gradient, but more in lines, like you want a thin line to a thick line in different colors. It's the same process. Select the two pieces. I'm just going to align them because I'm a little bit like that. Press W, click on a first one, click on a second one. Now, what did we do last time? We changed the amount of steps. So if you want to change this, you can go in object. You can go in blend and blend options right here. And then let's say I just want 10 steps. Well, now you're going to see the preview. I'm not satisfied entirely with that. So I'm going to go back in object, blend, blend options, and I'm going to do eight options instead, eight steps, excuse me. So there you have it. These are two of the ways that you can do this. And like I said, you can always expand the appearance and then object expand. Okay. But this is a destructive way of doing it. So if you want the non-destructive way, you just go back and object blend and you fix it that way. Or before you start, you double click on blend and you can change it there. So I hope this was useful. Uh, please keep it in your saves. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. I like to make videos that can help you and I hope that you have a wonderful day.